we're going to be doing today is basically driving Jim Clark's car around the Longford track in I would kind of say the Australian kind of places. It's kind of in Australia, it's kind of an island on the bottom of Australia. So what we're going to be doing is basically driving Jim Clark's car around the track and seeing what time we can get. It's about a 4.5 mile track and it's from 1966. And I've got my beauty wheel here today. So let's see what times we can smash up. So yeah, let's get into this. Okay, as we make our way to the start line, through we go. Oh, geez, this has got some kickback. Yeah, one thing, I am in a complete different game to what I'm usually in. This is R Factor 2. So this is not Successor Corsa, this is R Factor 2. Now this is a new game that I got a couple of weeks ago to be honest and it seems pretty good. It seems about the same level as a set of Corsa to be honest. But as we make our way down this straight, we are now coming into a hairy bit. Break, break, we really want to break for this bit. We do not want to go smash it. Okay, nope, we've lost the tire and we're dead. Um, so <laughs> let's just restart that now. Okay, why are we, why have we spawned it? Okay, okay, so I just crashed. That's what the crash fix six in this game are. In a set of course you kind of just smash yourself, but in this game, you are under so much pressure with the um, mechanical failure with this game. So as we make our way down this straight again, we are now making our way to the first breaking point of the first corner. Here we go, on the corner, here we go. Breaking, 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 really hard breaking going into turn what I would call two but it might be one here we go three two three four would you count this as a corner I would say I would so then we're on turn four now well well we're heading up to turn four here we go there's a very you have to break really early for this corner there's a blue flag which means that there's a person behind me wanting to come through which I don't really want to but I will let them I think I'm going to have to let them um, yeah, there's a guy behind me that wants to, okay, there we go. My, I've got a slower car than them too, so there is quite a lot of things that could go wrong because they literally have their own mind. So as we go through this corner, which is whole epic! Okay, I've, I've never actually gone through this track in one piece um, without crashing once, so that's our challenge today, believe it or not. Oh god, nope, that's one crash. That's one crash, okay. We're gonna have to restart again, okay. This is such a hard game if you don't want to crash. Um, if you don't want to crash, a set of caution is the right game for you. Um, but geez, this is crash physics on this game. I love the crash physics on this game, honestly. There's more cars that we can check out in the future too. Oh, I just crossed the yellow line. That would be a, what would that be? A two second time penalty? In real life, I think that would be about a two second time penalty. But as we go down here, I'm kind of getting distracted on the Google Translate on my other screen. But okay, um, let's head down to turn one again. Can't believe I'm saying those words again. Let's just go through turn one, turn two, turn three. It would be a corner if there was tyres, so this would be counted as a corner, so this would be turn 4. Then this was a turn 5, that's the thing I got wrong last time, so if we could break about there, stamp on the accelerator again, break again, and then I break a little bit too early on that corner, but oh my god that was a bad corner. That was a really bad corner in fact, that was just like really bad. Right, so as we go down the straight, this is the longest, I would say, no, I think the next straight is the longest, but I'm not sure. This is levelling with it. I'm not really sure which one's the longest straight, but you'll see in a minute. So as we go down here, you want to break really early for this. Please don't go onto the gravel. Please don't go onto the gravel. Undercut into the inside. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine. I've controlled it. At least I haven't gone it straight into a barrier. We're fine. So as we go through here, this is probably where I crashed last time. Yep, that's where we crashed last time. So as we make our way up the hill, we want to be very careful going into the apex of this corner because we don't want to flip ourselves like I or just almost did. 
So this is a corner, I think. I think there's like, I think there's, I, I think there's some like eight corners on this track, but I'm not very sure. So as we go through, this is the straight that I was, that I was middling with. I don't know. Yeah, I think the other um, straight is, is slightly longer than this, but there was a car humping on my right hand side and my right hand side again. Let's see if I can make the dive. And sadly, my car is well slower than theirs, even though it's like the exact same model. But it's fine. I've just made a very late break. I'm more confident on the break, I think. That was a bad corner for me. That was a very bad corner for me, but I think we're going to come to the end. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Oh, that was our, our outlap. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That was our little outlap. That doesn't actually count our time. Okay, right. We're going to have to go complete concentrate mode now and literally just be a champion because we can't mess up on this lap. If we mess up, we have to restart the outlap too. So I really just can't mess up this lap. So I'm going to go capiche. Break about there. Push the accelerator, break again. Coming into turn five, I think. I get muddled up with the corner names, but as we go through here, I'm not really sure what every single corner name is. I'm, that's, okay. Corner name. I'm getting mixed up with corner names and numbers. I, I don't know. Right, so let's go down the straight. This is a, which I would call the long straight of the whole track. I think. I'm not really sure. They look about the same on the map, but I don't know. I really don't know. So, oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. Okay, I haven't crashed into anything. I haven't crashed into anything. That does, that does not count. If I turn around without skidding out and looking that I'm not out of control of my car, I should be all fine. Right, let me join these fields. This is the hardest bit of track. Please just control the car. This car, I, there's something wrong with my accelerator. I've got to say, there's something wrong with my accelerator. There has to be, because I'm not as quick as them, even though I'm literally in the same car model. Some cars, I'm quicker than them. Like Senna's 1994 car, I'm quicker than them. In cars like this, I am as slow as a piece of pie, which don't even move. Um, so I am slightly quicker than them in my life. So yeah, let's go down this straight. I am getting muddled and getting distracted now, so let's just concentrate. I think we have to do quite an early break on this one because the corner is quite fierce with hay bales. So we need to kind of focus up on Okay, again, that does not count. I am still in the right of way on this one. So if I just turn around, which doesn't look very good for me, this will not be a very quick time because I am literally going in the wrong direction of the track. So where is the track? Okay, here is, here is the track. I'm literally going backwards from the track, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but here we come. Did I restart on that lap? Because the current time didn't really seem to record me. Well, that didn't go such so well. By the way, um, about five seconds into the crash, it'll automatically flip you back a little bit. There we go. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to slap that like button, subscribe for more. We're trying to hit 100 subscribers by March next year. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.